left mouse click I can just extrude out okay the T spout okay then just grab it again or rather control and then just press it out and maybe another portion around here okay so with this still being selected I can put it down and I press control now you notice that the uh, the T-spout is rather boxy, so you want to make it a little bit rounder. Okay, I could have done this a little bit earlier. You add a edge loop, so you press Ctrl R. Okay, go across the edge here, so now I got all this extra detail, which you can go to vertex level and start to... I'm going to change this to the move manipulator and change it back to global. So I can start to move this up slightly and give it a more defined, or rather a, a rounder profile. So you can see uh, there's a lot of tweaking involved. You want your teapot to look good. Right now, because uh, I've not applied any subserve modifiers, it doesn't look that good yet. So, but once once that has been applied, you should be able to get a much nicer looking teapot. All right. So you'll see that in a while, a short while later. All right. So. I can grab all these vertices here. Okay, I'm gonna deselect because the bottom vertex is selected. Right, I'm gonna rotate this a little bit more and then just grab this and pull it up a bit. Okay, what about the uh, what do you call that? The uh, the hole here. All right, so I'm gonna create a hole so that the, it will look as the tea is pouring out. Okay, wait, let me adjust this a bit. Go to vertex level. Uh, make it a little bit roundish. So that when I okay select all these faces and I'm gonna press extrude region I'm gonna scale them down slightly and press extrude again region and I'm gonna go to the side view so that I can go to wireframe mode and grab this inwards wait I think I grabbed it a bit too far about here this is good enough and I'm gonna delete away these faces and I have my teapot. And if I were to apply the, uh, what I call that, the smooth. Okay, it looks quite decent. This is good enough for a game, game prop. If you press subdivide, uh, subsurf, apply a subsurf modifier, control one, control two. And you can see it's a relatively decent teapot. Now, if you look closely here, the top and bottom, there's one area which I've overlooked. That is the, uh, when you spin it right, sometimes you create all these uh, artifacts here. It doesn't close the gap very well here. If I go to uh, edit mode, you can see it a little bit clearly. Okay, so to fix this is relatively simple. Okay, you have to... Okay, let me bring this down to level 1 first for the subsurf. Okay, if you find it very hard to zoom in, okay, I'm going to show you a trick. Okay, select the region you want, and then you just press the delete button in the, okay, in your uh, numpad. All right, I'm going to select all these group of vertices here, the center vertices. Okay, and... Okay, there's a big mess inside here i'm going to get rid of all these faces press l i don't really need this ah, okay no there's a mistake press a to deselect go to top view again and press b border select all these points and okay i'm gonna deselect these points here because I want I want to keep these points, so I'm going to press B and then press Control to oops, or rather alternate key to deselect these. Press B again, alternate to deselect these. B again, alternate to deselect these. Okay, I don't want I do not I want to deselect this one. Okay, the, as a, for the bottom here, yeah, okay, this one I want to get rid of. You can see there's a, a mess, mess of faces here. 
So now I want to collapse all these faces together. Now I do not want to collapse the neck of the handle. So to do that, very very simply, you just apply a scale. So we're going to use a scale manipulator. Holding down the shift and then grabbing the z-axis, you can see I'm collapsing all the points continuously until they all fall on top of each other. Then I'm going to use W, remove doubles. And yeah, that's it. You just collapse all the vertices together. And then for those vertices which you don't need, you can actually delete them away. Okay. So there are a couple of vertices, redundant vertices over here. Basically, this is just some cleanup which you, you should do because you do not want to uh, create all these additional uh, redundant uh, data for your model. So there's one more hanging there. Okay, let's go to the bottom and check. Yeah, there's a bunch of uh, redundant vertices over there. Again, to zoom in, press the delete in your numpad. Okay, and that's it. This is a cleaned up uh, teapot. All right. And that's how I create it. Now, if you want to separate the uh, the this cover, okay, make it a separate object. All you have to do is to select the one of the vertices, press L to select the related uh, vertices, and press P to separate it as a separate object. So now you got two separate objects for the teapot. And that, my friends, is how you model a teapot, or one of the methods to model a teapot in Blender. I hope you enjoyed this video. Again, if you like this video, please give it a, a rating. And if you have any comments, just drop me a comment. Thank you very much.